Valley Texans have been blessed with miles and miles of sandy beaches and oceanside views, a whole 367 to be exact. Take a trip to the remote Matagorda Island and watch sea turtles make their jaw-dropping journey from the shores of South Padre and you're sure to relish in the beauty of the Texas Gulf. This coastal charm is present all throughout this region and nested at the top of the highest dune in Port Aransas is a place where you'll find just that. I hear people talk about it from Houston, from San Antonio and Austin that they've been to the chapel and I just kind of smile, but, but I think it is loved. I think it's loved by the people of Port Aransas. They call it their eighth wonder. Resting high on top of the town, barely above sea level, and hidden behind yuccas and flowering cacti, sits the chapel on the dunes. Marlene Lawson and her son Carter are the caretakers of this Port Aransas landmark. Marlene's grandmother, Aileen Carter, called the White Angel by locals for her flowing white organdy dresses, built this chapel way back in 1937. Since then, biblical fresco-style paintings have been added and countless weddings have taken place here. But more so, it's been a place of invocation for everyday visitors. So what do you think your grandmother did up here? She, um, of course, had private meditation. She had little family um, services. I think it was my grandmother's love for the coast. She loved the blowing of the dune grasses. She was a poet. She was a poet laureate. And she was inspired by the beauty. There was no development, and the, the sand dunes were pure white and you could see all the way to the ocean, and so it was quite magical. While the chapel may be tiny, sitting 20 people at most, its beauty is much larger than its small stature. Aileen's great-grandson Carter, a history buff at heart, recognized its elegance and has become the next generation of family preservationist. Not only did he help restore the chapel on the dunes, but he also helped bring back to life Aileen's landmark limestone San Antonio home, the Maverick Carter House. How did you get caught up in the restoration mug? I was uh, living at a time uh, in the uh, family homestead in San Antonio, and uh, I was always going through floorboards and, and old trunks and looking and finding some uh, old family memories that some sometimes stretch back for several hundred years. Her message was always uh, of, of giving and inspiring and uh, just viewing uh, a beautiful place. Oh, let me lift a window to the sea, where time sings on through ageless mystery. The gulls encircle dawn with silver cries, and clouds come up like ships across the skies. Aileen Carter passed away in 1972, but her words and poems live on. It's easy to imagine her window to the sea was right here at the chapel, opening up and looking through the brightly colored stained glass. It's a majestic view, one that her descendants, who have tenderly cared for her most prized possessions, hope lives forever. It's a, um, almost a mission that we have to continue that spirit. It is, it's important to be the, the keeper of, of these beautiful things that, that she left and be able to pass them to the next generation of the Carter family. And I think that's it's kind of the flame of her spirit that we want to keep alive. Looking for more stories like this one? Just hit the subscribe button for more great stories about Texas and Texans.